this is going to be an absolute nightmare to edit. So yeah, that's Australia done. Oh no, it's not. And it's 96.2. Even in the middle. Here we go, on the home stretch. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, today's video is going to be the start of my world coin showcasey kind of thing. Uh, basically, this is what it says on the tin. I'm going to go through my world coins. I've also got my dad's. Um, yeah, I'll show you what I've got. I'm going to do it alphabetically, like laughter. It's probably the best way to do it. Um, and yeah, if there's any countries with obviously a lot of coins, I will separate them into their own video and I might group up a couple of letters. But we'll see how it goes. And yeah. Let's get into the coins. Right, so the first country we have is Albania. There's this, Republica. I'm not even going to try and pronounce that. This one's from 1996 and it is 50 lek, I think, for this little reefy thing. Very nice. Um, there was no mintage figures for this, but it was only minted in two years. So 96, which is this one, and the year 2000. The next country is, ooh, above you. This one's from Algeria. And this is one dinar from 1983. Uh, again, no mintage information. It's, it's kind of hard to get it for other countries really um, I found a few but yeah not everything's gonna have it and the nice thing about this one is it's actually a commemorative so as you can see there's little hands going all the way around there around the rim and this is actually commemorating the 20th anniversary of independence which is quite cool next we're going on to Australia and I'll start off with my ones, and then I'll do my dad ones afterwards. So this is two cents, this from 1981. And on the back we have a frill-necked lizard. Which, I like lizards, so I have a lizard tattoo here. <laughs> um, yeah, very nice. Then we have five cents from 1989. And this is an echidna and yes i did have to go with that pronunciation <laughs> they're, these quite cute they're quite common these you see them everywhere oh i forgot to say the mintage for the two cents is about 97.3 million this is 95.7 million and we've got 10 cents with a bit of fluff on it this one's from 1976 and it features a male superb lyrebird. Just looks like a fancy peacocky kind of thing. Yeah, very pretty. I think that's what a lot of people like about Australian coins. They have animals and we're all, we're all suckers for animals on coins. <laughs> right, next up we have, it's quite big this, isn't it? This is the 20 cents. And we have a little little platypus on the back, a duck billed platypus. Um, and this mintage is about 28.8 million. So quite common. Very common. <laughs> Next up we have the 50 cents. I like these, they're huge. It's got 10 sides, I believe. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve. Twelve sides. I stand corrected. <laughs> this one's from 1980. It's massive, really thick and chunky. And this is the Australian coat of arms on the back there. That's that one. Then we have one dollar from 1998. And a lot of us have probably seen this one before. It's the one with the little five kangaroos on it. Mum and her little babies. 
which is pretty cool. This one was 16.2 million mintage. Apparently it's aluminium bronze. And last but not least from my Australian coins, we have a $2 coin, which is really tiny. You'd expect it to be a bit bigger. It's a bit, yeah, a bit weird how small it is. But this one's quite modern, actually. It's from 2014, 39.9 uh, million mintage. And it is the Aboriginal Elder, which is pretty cool. So yeah, they're my ones. Hopefully it's in kind of a straight line. And now we will move on to me dad's ones and try not to get them mixed up. This is King George V, 1922. And it is Commonwealth of Australia, one half penny. So it's pretty cool. This coin's nearly a hundred years old, which is absolute madness. Right, so this one was minted in Sydney, and I believe the mintage is less than 7 million, so it was quite, I suppose it was quite low, but, but compared to the hundreds of millions that some of them have. So yeah, pretty cool, bit of history there. And then we have another half penny, but this one is George the Sixth. Not too bad, this one's from 1951. Just got a little kangaroo on it, Australia, half penny. I've got a little star there. Uh, this one was minted in Perth. And there's 29.5 million, roughly. <laughs> I did actually have a sixpence, but I sent it to Christopher a long time ago before I started collecting world coins. So that'll be in one of his videos at some stage. So again, we have two cents. I won't go into it too much from 1974. 91 million that year and then we have three five cents one from 81 93 and 2001 right and the mintages for these ones uh 1981 is 62 million 1993 is 94 million and 2001 is 174.5 million so this one's very common all right next we have 10 cents my dad's got five of these uh ranging from 1966 to 2008 so obviously they've got the, the little bird on them uh 1966 is 11 million 73 is 27 million. It's a bit grimy that one. 84 is 94 million. 89, that's 43.5 million. And then 2008, which is 136 million. We don't have any 20 cents from my dad's, but we have got another one of these big boys. And this one's from 1975, and obviously it's the same with the coat of arms on it. And the mintage for this one is 19 million. So it's quite low actually, that one. And the last one is another $1, 1985. There's the little kangaroos, and this one, there is 96.2 million, roughly. So that's all of them from Australia. Right, so the last country we have for today is Austria. Um, I'll start off with mine because I've only got one. And that is here, one euro cent. Nothing too exciting, really. It says one euro cent on the back. It's got a little flower on it, and this is from 2002. And the mintage is 378.5 million. So there's quite a lot of these around. <laughs> Nothing special. And then on to Dad's ones. He's got a bit more variety. So here we have 10 Groschen. Groschen. Hopefully that's how you pronounce it. These are made of aluminium. So they're, I'm not keen on aluminium coins. I know some people like them, but I don't. They just feel fake. 
So we've got one from 1976, 1981, 39.3 million and 92.2 million for those two. And then we have a 50 groschen. <laughs> I'm not saying this right. And this one's from 1960, quite old. I think a lot of my dad's coins they are older he has got a few more modern ones but and this has just got a little shield thing on the back of it bit grubby still nice and then we move on to the shillings austrian shillings and we have two here one's from 1965 and one's from 1971 and they both have the same on the back. They've got these nice little flowers on there. Yeah, very nice. 1965 is 9.1 million. And 1971 is 27.9. So quite quite a, a lot more. All right, next we're on to five shillings. So again, we have two of these. 1974, 1980. And they've just got the little shield thing on the back again. As you can see, and the mintages for these are, which one have we got? 1980 and 1974. So 1974 is 17.9 million and 1980 is 14.8. So next we have 10 shillings and we have five of these. Right, so we have two from 1974. Minutages for these is 60 million, there and thereabouts. Uh, 1980, which is 10.8 million. And then we have the 1981s, which are 9.4 million. And then last, we have a two euro cents here. So, more modern one, I think this is 2019. Yeah, 2019, so why euro cents? And there is 91.2 million of these minted. Yeah, so thank you for watching. Um, next time, obviously, there'll be B. I'm not sure when that will be, maybe next week, because I've got something else planned for Friday. Uh, so if you want to see more, then come back and yeah. I will see you next time. Bye, guys.